All right, so with this shock, a lot of people have a hard time taking this out. Um, we loosen up tie rod, brake lines, all the ABS lines out the way, and the sway bar end link right here. So what I'm gonna do is I have this big ass pry bar. Harbor Freight is like 20 bucks, and it's a 36, 36 inches. So on the other side, we were able to pull it down. Just gotta find a spot. Or then we bring it down. Maybe bring this down a little bit more so you guys have more leverage. And then we're gonna take out this. We're gonna take out this bracket right here. This tool. And then we're gonna this this shock is like it's hanging out from the bottom. So we're gonna bring it down as much as we can and then we'll get the pry bar to pry the rest up. Alright, so I was able to bring it down a little bit more that way my pry bar can fit so right now i'm praying under this mount right here like the suffering mount and then on the just the lip of the spindle so i'm gonna try to see if that works make sure see it's going down and then to make sure your pry bar is steady and then just try to keep bringing it down you can do the other side too Use this side or that side. You want to put this? It was turned that simple. Yeah, I like turned it a little bit. So you gotta watch out with the axle too, because it might pop it out. Please pop it back in straight. But pretty much it's out. Just gotta pry it. So you just gotta push it down. You guys wanna step on it or use a pry in like certain areas. And then once it kinda is it like it'll kinda get out and just kinda spin it or just maneuver it out, wiggle it or whatever. And it should be good. Cause this part right here and in here, it kinda gets stuck as it's coming out. So you gotta like either hit it or just move it back and forth. Wiggle it until it drops, drops, and drops. 
and you'll be good. And after that, we take out the top. Yeah. Make sure you hold the shock. Let me show you guys the coilovers. Comparison. The coilover is a lot easier to take off and put on because it's a lot shorter. And then see how this piece compared to this? This is a lot shorter too, where it sits inside. So once you put the coilover on, just jack it up. Let me show you the other side. I'm gonna get the jack too. So this side's done. We just we don't connect the end link yet because the other side's off. We put this, it'll be hard to um, connect the end link on the other side because they're connected on both sides. So this is almost on. We just gotta finish everything and then put it, the sway bar links together with the other side. So I'm gonna take the jack off. So you just jack under the ball control arm, not on the ball joint, just on the control arm. But we're gonna let's put the car around first. On top, we're gonna bolt it up. So, see so yeah, this has a camera kit. This is a BC. Yeah, BC carvers. So, what we're gonna do is just line it up, jack it up slowly on the lower control arm, and you could, yeah, just line it up and let's we'll jack it up. Probably spray some day before you. There's a lock up. So we're gonna kind of grease it. We don't have grease, but we we'll use WD 40. Well, pull it back towards you. There you go. Same so once it goes in. in the right orientation for the sway bar that hole right there and then yeah. so now we put the bolt and everything should be good all right everything's on Let's put, test fitting the wheels <laughs> they it's already cambered out too and look at it it has poke but this, the whole setup came from the same car, or maybe a newer year, but... So we got our right, wrong fingers. Still gonna go on. Go ahead. Oh, nope. Just so low. <laughs> You can't even get out of the driveway. I can't. You have to use the loop box. Let's see. Yeah. Is there a touching? It's already touching the fender, I think. Yeah. Those the same size tires you ran to? Yeah. 
just this damn. That's good. I got a road fender. Okay. Yeah. Should I put the um, thing back to the middle? You can. Unless yeah. I right hand it like that. Like no. Yeah, I'm gonna eat up the tide. But you're gonna need a lime anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Luckily, we have these sports wheels. This should be hard. Yep. So low. You see how low it is? Two finger, three finger. Alright, onto the rears. We have this bolt right here. I think it's a 17. And then we're gonna. I'm probably trying to use a pry bar and pry it down and break this loose. And then we have this little slot in here. So we got two 14 millimeter nuts. I'm gonna take that out and then take out the 17 down there. And if it doesn't come out. We have to loosen up sus some suspension. All right, so this is what I use. A um, half inch ratchet with the kind of long, deep 14. And then break it loose. And take the 17 off. Easy impact. So, 17 off this bottom shock bolt. Make sure you grease this up so it doesn't get corroded. And next, you see the sway bar in it, it's getting in the way. So, because when we pry it down, right here, when you push it back, it's kind of in the way, so we gotta pull it out real fast, and then hopefully the shock will come out. Here's the end of the PC. We removed just one well the sway bar and link right here. Kind of stripped out. It was on the back here. So it was kind of in the way. So once I got that out, I was able to just pry it. Pry the stock shock and push it outward. And free it in here. And then once you free it in here, you use the pry bar again. Pry it down and bring the the head of the stock shock out. And to get this stock, I mean this BC in, I just um, kind of step on one foot right here, bring it down and stick the studs in the hole, and it was able to clear this little spot right here. So now we're just gonna have to lift it up or jack it up so we can put in this. Um, 17 mil for the bottom. We're also gonna install some camera oils. Some Megan Racing. Just this one, it's a little different. And you gotta tighten it. It has a little bracket spot, so I gotta see which one's, what side is for. Right, we got the back wheels on. We still have to install the camera kit, but we need to roll the fenders also. So that's gonna be another day because we're gonna run the stock ones. We need to get the fenders rolled, but look at that. Car needs to detail, but it's cool. Sheesh. Oh, this looks so good. A lot of people are gonna ask what's the offset and stuff on the on YouTube. This front looks like it's sitting pretty good. This side. But nice nah, on the fender. Jeez. Flash is on. Yeah, you can see it sitting right there on the tire.
Alright, so we had to put the stocks back on because the wheels don't fit without a fender row. And we gotta install the rear camber arm. So you can see. We raise up the front too. It's kinda pretty much even, I would say. And then look how the driveway is in Colorado. <laughs> so he has parked on the street or buy some wood blocks or something. But other than that, we're gonna go for a test drive, see how it rides. These tires are 225. 225, 45, 18s. Um, the offset on the wheel is like 55. So I think it's 18 by eight, 55 offset. So it has a lot of clearance for being this low. Um, I don't think he's gonna grab the fender or not. So let's see. Yeah, very nice.